below you can get an overview of the flickering reasons. If your Windows 11 screen is flickering, first ensure that the cables connecting your computer and monitor are securely fastened. If the flickering persists, you can take the following methods. First method. Update display driver in safe mode. Screen flicker in Windows 11 is generally because of display driver issues. To resolve this, you can update your display driver by booting your PC in safe mode and uninstalling your current display adapter. Hold shift key and click on restart to boot into safe mode. Click Troubleshoot, Advanced Options, Startup Settings, Restart, tap on number 4. Then select Device Manager from the Start menu. In the Device Manager, locate and expand the Display Adapters section. Right-click on it, then choose Uninstall Device from the menu. In the Uninstallation process, select the option Attempt to remove the driver for this device. After that, select Uninstall and proceed to restart your PC. After your PC has restarted, open the Settings menu. In the Settings menu, find and select Windows Update. Then, select Check for Updates, and install any available updates that show up. This step will help you update your display driver to the latest version. Next method. Lower the monitor refresh rate. A high refresh rate can also cause screen flickering or flashing on Windows 11. At this time, you could try reducing the refresh rate. Open Settings, then go to Display on the right. Click on Advanced Display under the Related Settings section. Go to the Choose a Refresh Rate section, click on the drop-down menu next to it, and select a lower refresh rate from the available options. Restart your computer and check if the screen flicker in Windows 11 has been resolved. Besides, any problematic application might be causing your Windows 11 screen to flicker. If you've recently installed any new software, try uninstalling it to see if the problem persists. Next method. Transfer your OS to a new drive. If the issue is due to a faulty or outdated hard drive, you can transfer your operating system to a new drive. Next. I'll use AOME Partition Assistant to show you how to do this. If you find it useful, please download it in the description. Run the software. Click Migrate OS under Clone. This feature is available in its Pro Edition. Choose an unallocated space on the target hard drive and click Next. In this window, you can change the size of the system partition. Attend to notes about how to change the boot drive, which might be helpful after migration. In this screen, you can review the result. Click Apply and proceed after confirmation. AOMI Partition Assistant is an all-in-one disk management software that can clone, convert, free up, recover, wipe your disk, and so on. You can hit the link in the description to download the free version to try it and consider upgrading to its Pro Edition later. Thanks for watching till here. I'll see you in the next two videos. If you have any questions please leave comments or email us.